Now, that shows you where the major Hispanic population is or whatever you chose. Okay, so oftentimes if you, in the state of Colorado, if you do white people, you're almost getting just population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> now, if you were in. Okay, so that, that's a simple query. That's a simple query where we're showing where, is, where the Hispanic people live. But let's all go back to the symbology table now. If we go back to the symbology table for counties, remember you go to properties, right click, go to properties. We go back to the symbology table. There's another value there called normalization. If you go back to, see that normalization one? Instead of just looking at the Hispanic population in raw numbers, Let's do some math. Your numerator is Hispanic, and your denominator, what do you want to make denominator? Let's make it total population for one year. Uh, on mine, I think it's, on ours, it's 2004. Let's use 2004. So we go to population 2004. We now have a fraction, and notice the numbers change. They're now a percentage. I say, okay, now look how your map changes. All right, we're going to do something now that really is cool because it has to do with census data that's much deeper. We're going to add block groups. If you go to your Add button, go back to the folder that we're in, and we're going to add blockgroup.sdc. So does anybody here, does anybody here not know what a block group is? Or is it, it's, a, it's a census denominator. Uh, uh, it's a, a, a polygon that the Census Bureau makes up. And they're small. They're like neighborhood stuff. And we're going to add blockgroup.sdc. It's right here. We'll add it. This is where your kids found out you're the old guy. This is where my kids found out that there was only two people older than me in the whole neighborhood. Okay, when you do block group, you're going to get this funny looking thing up there when you add it. Because the block groups are really small. You can't see very close to it. All right, so this next thing you know how to do already. We're in, in, let's turn off counties by doing this. Just click off counties by going like that. Now you don't have counties anymore. All we have is block groups. So let's right-click on block groups, go to properties, and go to the symbology tab. You guys know how to do this already. Go to the quantities tab. And do the same thing. I'm going to do Hispanics again. Only I'm going to do it by block group. So I'm going to go to my value is Hispanic. And my normalization, my normalization is population 2004. I have 10 classes because I want it to be more accurate. So you have a screen like that. And I'm going to say OK. Now, I have Hispanic population divided by the population in 2004 by block group. Kids love this because they can go to their block and see, you know, how many old codgers are there, how many babies are there. School teachers, instead of picking Hispanic versus population 2004, you pick age 5 to 17 versus 2004. That's all the school age kids. And then you, then you add another layer called schools. See if your schools are in the right place. Okay. Let's add cities now. We'll add, and everybody knows how to add now, so we're flying along cities.sdc. We'll add them. And you got a bunch of cities there. And... Okay, so now let's zoom in on this area. I'm going to get my little zoom, my magnifier. Okay, so I'm going to go down by Durango. And I'm going to zoom in around Durango. I think I'll go a little closer. I'm going to go right into Durango here. And you guys can go right into where Pagosa is. Um, so then all of a sudden it becomes, you know, hey, how, how come there's a bunch of Hispanic people live there in that little block group and they don't in the other? 
or how many how come there's so many old people there whatever your whatever your geographic question is